Hey folks, this morning we are out in uh, Huffman, Texas, and we've got bees in a tree. Uh, the homeowner called me the other day, or not the homeowner, the homeowner's daughter called me the other day and said they've been here for, the bees have been in this tree off and on for years, you know, but she said they finally they want the tree to get taken down and they can't take it down with the bees in it. So I'm going to take it down with the bees in it and I'm going to get the bees out. But you can see right there on that knot hole where they're going in and out, they've certainly been here for a long time due to just the staining around the hole from all the propolis they're tracking in and out. Uh, they're not moving a whole lot this morning just because it's still cold uh, But you can see the sunshine is hitting right on that knot perfect. There's a couple of them up there crawling around Kind of starting to get warmed up um, But we're gonna go ahead and take the tree down. It shouldn't be any problem. It's it's really leaning hard already It's leaning right out here into this open space um, So we're just gonna get on the underside of it take it down and then we'll uh, We'll cut out a section as needed and then split it open like a watermelon to get to the bees So this should be fun and uh, we're gonna get it done All right, well, we got her done we took bets on where the top would fall, and uh, I lost, but somehow I got paid anyway. So, anyway, the uh, the original hole that we were filming was actually over here, so the tree fell right on their hole. So they can't get out that side. I mean, they probably can. This ground is so soft. You see how much that tree sunk in the mud? It's really soggy here. Um, but they're not coming out that side. But now they're starting to come out. This knot hole over here in home water said you've never actually seen them coming out of that knot hole, but they are now. And you can tell by the staining around it too. They have been. Probably just wasn't their primary entrance. Um, but you know, dropping the tree doesn't seem to disturb them one bit. There are a couple of them flew out and zipped around once they got their bearings, but they're not upset at all. So what I'll do is I'll just start up here and start working my way down towards it. Once my chain hits wax, I'll start slinging wax and I'll stop, go back and cut off clean. And do the same thing from the bottom side and just be looking for where the main nest is and then once I find the main of the nest I'll stop you know, to cut a window or I'll split it open like a watermelon to uh, open it up to get the combs out I'll trim off all this little brush and whatnot and, and get to it but right now they're not being aggressive at all so I'm gonna keep on working without my suit and we'll just kind of keep an eye on that knot hole and see what they do all right so here's where we stand so far I've gotten two wedges taken out and uh, you know I'm doing pretty good if I dare say so myself I uh, managed to cut in, just kind of fill your way in with the saw, and I actually didn't cut this comb at all. Well, take that back, I cut through the top of it as I was cutting the main slice in. Uh, I couldn't feel that when I was cutting with my saw. I couldn't feel, and I didn't see any wax or anything sling out, but cutting these uh, side cuts here, I didn't cut in. I was able to feel with the tip of the saw where I was at. Big cluster of bees here, drone comb there. Um, yeah, I think they're just a little they're pretty stirred up since I just ripped the roof off their house like this, but it's funny the shape of the tree Because it's right now we've got this rock this Core rot here and core rot there They pulled these cones down these long narrow spots. So in the middle there. There's no cone They pulled these big long skinny cones down the rock cracks in the tree. So uh, We'll just keep Working down through it. Keep splitting off wedges like that uh, sawing up the tree. I have these coming out here. I don't think I really had any coming out here. So we'll start our next wedge. Well, we'll keep working our way down and we'll just keep, we'll just keep coming along. I don't want to keep bouncing back and forth because if the queen's going to run, I want to let her run one direction and then get to her last, you know. But for now, we're going to keep, like I said, just wedging it out and uh, see where we get. Okay, I think I finally got it opened up here. Let's see, I've gotten into solid wood up top there and this is where I'm going far in solid wood down there uh, and here's the nest so that knot hole there originally coming in right here you can see that great big root nest right behind it so they had them a pretty good place I mean they got a great big cavity inside the tree uh, I've got combs a little bit of comb over on that piece big section of comb on that piece a comb on that piece mostly just bees on this other one there was an awful lot of see all this rot coming up the inside of the tree here and uh, you can see they, they managed to get up past all that rot and actually store a little bit of honey up here um, that's that's new honey too that's nice white comb um, unfortunately it's all covered in sawdust and wood chips so I don't think I'll be able to recover it. I'll give it to the bees but I can't bottle it up uh, but yeah so we got it all opened up here I think good enough anyway I should be able to tear the rest apart with the crowbar I'm gonna go ahead and put the chainsaw away and uh, get my B-back set up, swap over to my rubber gloves and start cutting cone. Well, here is a queen. Um, I don't know if she is the queen. Unfortunately, this hive has got a lot of, uh, a lot of queen cells in it. 
uh, some capped, some, I don't see any hatched yet, but uh, some capped, and they're probably about a week old. Um, but this queen looks real small, that's what concerns me. She could be that she's the dominant queen, and that she's shrinking down because they're getting ready to swarm. Uh, could be that she's a virgin queen. I don't think she's a virgin though, she, her abdomen just looks um, longer than a virgin. And the bees are definitely accepting her. I, I caught her, and I uh, set her over on a block of wood where there's a lot of bees crawling around and they just pounced all over this cage. So they definitely recognize her. I don't think she's a new virgin. Um, and I don't know, you know, like usual, I don't know if y'all can see her, but she's in there. Uh, but yeah, she's kind of small. So anyway, I'm going to keep vacuuming and uh, keep looking for more just in case. But right now, here's Walnut Queen anyway. I vacuumed up the rest of where I found that queen. And uh, I haven't found any more yet. But look at the way they're all over that cage. I'm pretty sure she's the one. If she was a virgin, they're not necessarily always that, that happy to have her, but uh, they're just swamping that thing, so I'm pretty sure she's the one. I'm going to go ahead and put her over in the box and uh, start cutting home and put the frames in there and try to start growing bees over in the box to cover the food thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the only queen. I just uh, put her on a frame inside the hive, and look at this march going on. They're all crawling inside the box. They're coming from the log over here. I've still got a lot of them all over these combs down in here. I've still got a lot of comb to clean out, a lot of work to do. These bees over here haven't quite realized yet where the queen's at, um, but they will. As more and more of them start marching, they'll start fanning, but that makes me really happy to see them march. I haven't seen one in a while, but they're they're certainly certainly running to her, so we're going to keep on working. Well, here it is. Here's the bees in the box. Um, this was the back box, a lot fuller than I realized. I really didn't think I'd sucked up that many bees, but that thing is pretty well chock full so I'm gonna call it four or five pounds of bees um, and I probably got another two or three pounds that are actually in the hive that are covering frames already because I put that queen in there and they started marching in so uh, big hive a lot of bees uh, not too feisty um, certainly understandable aggression based on the fact that I just you know cut a tree down and cut all the combs out I did get one nasty sting on the lip um, I don't know if you guys can hear if I have a lisp or not, but I'm trying not to. I'm really focusing hard not to talk funny right now because of my lip. I can feel it swollen up. Um, anyway, yeah, just that one sting. You know, the, the sting that I did get, it was, it was pretty hot. Uh, so they're pretty potent bees, but not not really aggressive. Just pretty, pretty potent venom uh, early in the spring like this, I guess. Um, they did have, I got uh, one bucket up there, just about full of honeycomb. I was, it was really weird. I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to cut out any good honeycomb because of the way that it was all packed in around the, the structure of the tree. I mean, I'll take it home and, and leave it in the backyard for the bees to rob out, but they did have some new stuff from this spring already, nice white combs. But I got one bucket of honeycomb and two buckets of scrap comb. But you can see that's what's left. That was the main cavity starting oh, about, uh, about in here and going all the way up to about there. That's kind of where it ended. Um, the bees were crawling all the way up in the rest of it, just through little gaps in the rock. So when I made those initial cuts with the chainsaw, they came out, but they weren't really, there wasn't really any combs or anything up there. It was just little uh, wormholes they'd bound through the rock. And, uh, you know, the same down on this end. But I'm pretty sure I got everything. I got that queen. Um, I was thinking maybe I could salvage some of the queen cells that I saw as I was working, but they were in, I think they're probably in that sort of sensitive development phase. They were capped, but they were still, look like a grub. Um, so probably the, I would imagine all the stress of dropping the tree and moving them around they probably weren't really going to survive it anyway so I crushed all the queen cells that I found but anyway as it stands there's all the wedges that I cut out and uh, I'm going to call this one an early success so long as that queen survives and so long as the bees survive when I get them home but right now it's looking like looking like everything went well it took me about three hours so I just uh, I put the queen into a like a release cage uh, with a candy cork in it, so it'll take a couple days to get out. I want to try to slow these bees down a little bit, I think, because of how they're pulling swarm cells and stuff, that they've really got a swarm mentality going. Um, but hopefully by caging that queen and giving them a lot more space and doing the cutout and everything else, I kind of will shock them a little bit into uh, hanging around and changing their mind. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put a double super on this. Uh, I don't have a... I don't think I have a swarm of a double deep. I might be able to scratch up enough frames to go ahead and make them a double deep. But anyway, I want to show you this pile of bees. I don't know how well you guys can see it out of the shadows anymore, but... You know, normally when I dump in 
normally when I dump a box of bees, a vac box, and a big glob of bees comes out and just sits there, they're usually dead, which is a sad reality when I mess up. These aren't there. This is a solid chunk, mass of bees that I guess they're just taking their time to get moving. So I dumped them down there. You see they've come up. They've covered all the frames. I pulled out a couple frames so I had a cavity to dump them into, but I can't put the frames back in because the bees won't move. They're all just sitting there right in the way. So uh, anyway, I just want to show this to you. The clean, she still looks good. I went ahead and marked her. And uh, these bees look great. There are a lot of bees here, a lot more than I realized. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to a double deep hive while I'm out here working. And I'll uh, leave a honey super on on top of that. So hopefully we uh, got, hopefully we got one heck of a good colony here.